Four seasons ago, I became the manager of Birmingham City. And after a lot of highs and lows, we have made it to the Premier League and established ourselves as a mid-table club. This season, however, it is the task to make that one step further into European competitions. However, to make that happen, we will have to improve the team drastically this season, especially on certain positions like the CDM spots, Bielik, now the captain, 28-79, and certainly Buchanan, the left back, as well as the bench, because, yeah, we have low depth and not a lot of quality depth either. Some good news though, as we have our biggest budget yet, 61 million this season. So lads, in the comments, please tell me who would you like to see in, of course, the Birmingham City side of season number four. On another front, once again, it is Dylan Villis' task to go to England, to his home country, and look for young prospects. Okay boys, so hear me out, this is going to be the very first big signing of this series with Birmingham City. A man who is already 33 years of age, who played in the Premier League before, he has all the experience, everything we need from him. He gets a 3 year deal, and of course, as you can read, we are talking about a player from Bayern Munich, playing for Arsenal in real life. A CDM in Thomas Party. We give him 90k a week. And that's when he signs, it is. I'm really proud of this transfer. An 84 rated CDM confidently walking into the offices of Birmingham City. He knows he's the upgrade we need. Beraldo is greeting him alongside Rivil Sombrero. That is how we do it here at Birmingham City. Thomas Party joining us from Bayern for 18 million. His contract was expiring. Second player into the side here. We get, do something for squad depth. A very, very talented player as well, on Benfica in real life, but here he was a free agent, I couldn't resist. It's a goalkeeper who can probably challenge Svila down the line. Because I wasn't very, very sure about the Serbian goalkeeper as well. That's why a Portuguese comes in here, at least to give us some rotational squad depth, some options. It is Samuel Soares joining us on a free bargain deal. And those two signings alone have decreased our budget from 66 to 35 million. And you know what, guys? Just to improve this team, I have ruthlessly put Bielig and Pike Soingu onto the transfer list. I mean, I might, might just re renew their contract so that they leave for more, of course, money. And there it is, our first player leaving the club. I tried to get as much money as possible. The former captain, Pike Soing Hu, he lifted the championship trophy, if you can remember. But now he goes to Fulham for 9.5 million. In the meantime, we also loan out Gabriel Bird to Vitoria for 12 months. As well as selling a very big player, and you guys guessed it. It is the captain of last season. He was just getting older and older. 29 now. He's 78 overall. A respectable player. Gets a respectable place, and I wish him all the best. Christian Bielik joining Liverpool. What a move for him. 22 million. All of that jazz brings us about 58 million once again in our budget. For, of course, to go in for new players. And hallelujah, finally we can change Joe Bellingham's position from a central midfielder to a CDM after about 35-40 weeks. And he stays at 72. All that work. For him to stay at the 72, but oh well, he'll go up in about 17 weeks. The thing is, right now we don't have any fullbacks on the bench. Certainly we need a new left back. Because I want to get Hills out of the club still. Maybe even Burgess on a loan. I don't know yet. That depends on how many players we can still get in. And here is one more player going off on a loan move. Just to get in the game time he deserves. Is Aaron Burgess, our youth academy prospect, joining Leeds United in the second league in the championship for 12 months? If you enjoyed the series, and if you are excited for the struggles for with Birmingham City, then please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps the growth of my channel massively. The fourth season kicks off with a fixture away from home to Leicester City. That reminds me of something. I think we had that in the championship. In our first or second season was also the same fixture away from home at the King Power. With a strong start in 11, let's go into this game. Here we are then for the start of our second Premier League season in a row. 
fourth season in total. It is a big matchup between Leicester City and Birmingham City. After 19 minutes, we get a first chance. It's Jay Stance returning and twisting, but Wout Fez is there. Now careful, it's a long cross by Leicester and they already ahead. How is that even possible? Mohamed, I don't even know this guy. I mean... I'm overwhelmed here already. We get an opportunity to wake up from our summer sleep here. It is Stansfield on the penalty spot converting. One all here. Our first chance really. The big chance, the big man Stansfield opens his account and his team's account. Water now with a smart ball into Stansfield. Can he reach? No. It's a corner kick. How careful again with these long crosses. It's Mohamed once again, but Svila collects. Well done, Vlad. Stroikens now. We can maybe attack one final time. Stroikens gets the ball back. But then messes it up. Still on the ball, though. We can still go and turn it one more time. It's Stansfield. Maybe with a chance here. Yes! He takes it. 86 minutes. Jay Stansfield brace. We turn the game around and start off in Dreamland here. Away at the King Power Stadium. We get another chance, maybe it's Haynes who came on, but he butchers it. And that is the game, we win 2-1, Dreamland, Dream Start, even though Leicester were ahead. One final game before we close down the episode. Once again, our strongest team, because the next match will be a Carabao match. It is against Sheffield United, one of the relegation contenders. So let's show them that we are not one. We start off positively, it's uh, Neverton on the ball, it's Wharton, Wharton looks for Diao in the penalty box but loses it. Man, I hate those long crosses, but Peraldo does very well here. Sheffield get another opportunity, it's Brewster running on Laird, but Ethan Laird keeps up with him. Well done, lad. And now Neverton, can he find Stansfield? Yes, he does. Stansfield, one on one, with the goalkeeper scores! His third goal in two games only. Stanfield is there again. We have a free kick here in the 49th minute. It's Adam Wharton of all people to take. Brings it inside. It's Neverton tries something outrageous. Cresswell scores! How did that go in? I think it took a big, big deflection. Let's have a look at this again here. First, the header from, I think, the Sheffield player. Yeah, Neverton tried something outrageous. A bicycle kick, but then Cresswell with a Fantastic power shot. It really gets a big deflection here. But I don't care as it goes past the goalkeeper to put us 2-0 ahead. Now though, Sheffield United try to get one back. It's Brewster. Brewster with a good run actually, but then does a bit too much and loses the ball. Sheffield on the attack now again. It is Berna against Beraldo. Beraldo against Bernard does so well. And now he can maybe even go on the counter. Now we see Thomas Party here for the first time. In action, in real action. Can he find a good ball? Yes, he does. It's Kilik Shoy. Came just on. Kilik Shoy turns well. Finds Party Back Thomas Party. That's how you start off a career at a club. It is Thomas Party, our number 14. Immediately the captain. I don't know if you guys like that. Maybe you can tell me who else to put as captain. Maybe Jay Stansfield, I don't know. But for the moment, I don't care. We could inflict even more damage as Stansfield goes on goal here. Doesn't get stopped. He has the chance and he does it. 4-0. Our biggest win yet, I think, on this series. What a start to the Premier League campaign. Now it's Kilik Choi. We could even do more here. It's Kilik Choi. Ah, doesn't find his man. And that is the game, 4-0, I'm absolutely gobsmacked, I'm happy, absolutely, fantastic performance, lads. For now, we are sitting in first spot in the Premier League, six goals to one, six points, after, of course, defeating two a bit weaker sides. I mean, have you guys seen the impact that Thomas Partey had on this game? He scored a goal in his second ever appearance for the club. Took matters into his own hands. That's what a leader is meant to be. And I think we found our leader. For now though, we are going to wrap up this episode. Of course, let me know in the comments who else I should go in for. Some transfer suggestions are always welcome. But you guys know we have about 60 million, maybe a bit less to go in for 
as many players as you want, actually. For now, though, I'm going to leave you alone. In the next episode, I'm going to reveal the results of, of course, player of the season, of season number three. But until then, it's been Rebuild Sombrero. I'm out. <laughs>